It was a bright and sunny morning when Aum Sum decided to explore the garden behind his house. With a curious mind and a magnifying glass in hand, he tiptoed past rows of blooming flowers and buzzing bees, eager to learn more about the tiny creatures that lived there. Everything seemed peaceful until a sudden sharp pain made him jump. A wasp had stung him. The pain hit quickly, like a pinch mixed with a burn. Amsum huh? gasped and took a step back. He looked down and saw a small red bump beginning to swell. His skin was getting hot around the sting, and the pain throbbed like a tiny drumbeat. Though it startled him, Amsum stayed calm. He knew it was important not to panic. Wasps sting when they feel threatened, and maybe he had gotten too close without realizing it. As the area swelled and grew itchy, Amsum knew he had to act. He walked back into the house, washed his hands, and then carefully rinsed the sting under cool running water to clean away any dirt. Next, he gently patted it dry with a clean towel. From the kitchen shelf, he took out a little container of baking soda and mixed it with water to make a paste. He had once read that this could help ease the pain and swelling. Slowly, he dabbed the paste onto the sting, feeling the coolness soothe the burning sensation. After treating the sting, he sat quietly with a cold cloth on his arm. His body had already started reacting to the venom by swelling and itching. This was the immune system at work, trying to protect him. As he sat under the tree, Aum Sum thought about how fascinating and complex nature was. The wasp didn't sting him out of meanness. It was simply protecting itself. Hmm. Huh? Why exactly do bees buzz? Firstly, bees use vibrations to shake pollen off flowers and onto their bodies. This process is called buzz pollination and is used by bumblebees and other bees to gather pollen for their colonies. Mm. Secondly, bees produce different vibrations to communicate with each other. Mm. Thirdly, bees produce high-pitched buzzes as a warning or defensive signal. Mm. Lastly, bees produce thermogenic buzzes to generate heat. Mm. How does a jellyfish sting? No big deal. Even Am Sum can sting. Oh, Am Sum. Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house mini needle like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Now, when there is a trigger due to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini-needle like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm.